got a surprise for you. Today we're in Elland, West Yorkshire. Well, if you're smart, you come to Marylebone, because I think this is where it's all happening. It is, Ben. And the question on everyone's lips, is it going to be Britain's year? Well, do stay with me to find out. I'll be bringing you live and exclusive coverage from the BAFTAs. Right, I'm off to Collar Clooney. Coco Chanel had such a profound effect on the Duke that he even had her initials stamped on lampposts. Now that is a declaration of love. I'm your host, Sunita Shop, and today it's the Battle of the Universities. What about the texture? Is that, is that very practical? Um, it is practical. We have no problems, apart from when people rub it and the glitter comes off. Oh, sorry. Um... And I'll be reviewing this week's bestseller and finding out if the great British public agree. What does your ideal woman look like? Oh, uh, I'll ask like my mum, to be honest. I have got a special mate for you. Yes, OK. Bye. She's coming with me. Like his mum. Right. People automatically expect to be able to transfer their lifestyle from the UK to a life in a new country, but it just doesn't work like that. First impressions, I don't think this is going to work. If I were relocating a businessman, fantastic, but it's not for the family. I've been down to the Institute d'Académie and basically until the family actually come over from England and have an address, I can't register the girls. They want to pay 450 euros a month. Now, I haven't seen this place myself, but apparently it's meant to be quite sensational. It is fabulous, but you've, you've got to remember this is a £1 million house if you were to buy it, if you could buy it, because yeah. you can't even buy a property in Jamira. Okay. They're just not for sale. Yeah. And to rent, it's going to be £3,000 a month, and even then, that is a discounted rent because it's through a contact and her friend, etc., etc. Yeah. By the end of today, we'll know, and then you can move in in two days, I'll put a bit of furniture in and box your ankle. When I first heard that I was going to go into this black house, black everywhere, I thought, oh, gosh, it's going to be a bit dark. But you don't, you don't feel that at all. It's so bright and airy. We have got a lot of greenery outside, and green and black go together incredibly well. Now, your stamp is all over this property. You love black, but I can see you've got purple in here. That, that? is uh, Jenny, my partner. We've made some great contacts, recruitment consultant, all that sort of thing, and hopefully we've found you some accommodation. So. That is temporary, it's only for a month, but in that time you can maybe sort out a long let yeah. or even buy a property. Mm. But really, the success of the relocation depends on my aim. You getting a job, everything rests on that. You staying here, getting a residence visa, even getting a doctor's. You can't get a doctor's without your residence visa. You can't get a residence visa without a job. We always hear, don't we, you've got to remain positive, you've got to keep focused. It's not easy taking on these projects. Now, when I worked in Marylebone years ago as an estate agent, I couldn't get the rich to look at property here, let alone buy it. And now it's, it's just amazing how things have changed. So really, the secret is you don't necessarily have to spend a lot on the units, but as long as you accessorise well with your tiles, coffee makers. Exactly. Now, London is renowned for its parks and gardens. Now, this is St James's Park, which is situated in the heart of London. If you haven't worn it for two years, likelihood of you wearing it again is zero. 80% of your clothes you wear 20% of the time, and 20% of your clothes you wear 80% of the time. I'm not sure I agree with that. You can tell you're a lawyer. You've never used it. <laughs> it's broken. Now, the million dollar question, do you have any records for this? It seems not. <laughs> <laughs> but in those great estate agents' words, it's got potential, and it's also got the longest Georgian facade in Europe. Now, all I have to do is get its current occupants to sell up. All in all, the transport system here in Athens is really rather good. It's been tipped as the party of the year, and yes, I'm going to it, but sadly, darling, you're not. The camera's not 